Meyer is back behind Ms. Sepulveda. Dr. Sepulveda is the Executive Director of Global Health Sciences here at UCSF. His areas of research expertise are many and include HIV, AIDS, vaccines, health surveillance, maternal and neonatal health, health policy, just to name a few. He's had a very uh, uh, illustrious and long career. He, prior to coming to UCSF, he worked for more than 20 years in senior health posts in the Mexican government. And then he served at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation before we had the opportunity to bring him over to UCSF. Uh, personally, he's just been an incredibly uh, staunch supporter of the master's program, for which Kim and I have been very grateful. So it's my great pleasure to invite Dr. Spolita up here to the podium. Thank you, Melody. And good morning, everyone. Dear students, Dean Watkins, Professor Richard Cash, I'm delighted to be here this morning in this um, very emotive ceremony. Today is an important milestone in your personal life, in your professional career. In the presence of your family and friends, your mentors and peers, you will receive a diploma emblematic of the completion of one fundamental step in the road of lifelong learning. It is indeed ironic that this uh, graduation ceremony celebrating the termination of your master's degree is called commencement. <laughs> As we all know, commencement be means uh, beginning. But indeed, your academic life is just starting, and you are commencing your journey of constant exploration about how to improve people's health. It is a fascinating and rewarding journey. But make no mistake, it is hard work. As someone said, there's no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. <laughs> I firmly believe um, you benefited from a very special kind of training. One that had the personal touch and active mentorship of uh, many individuals. We all owe to John Ziegler, the founding director of this master's program, its brilliant conception and design. Please join me in applauding. <laughs> Madabi Dandu and Kim Batzel have been exceptional successors. You received the collective cumulated experience and uh, expertise of your instructors, and I do hope that we were able to transmit something more than just knowledge. In my book, sincere passion beats erudition, and passion is an irreplaceable ingredient in pursuing the difficult challenges of improving health and reducing inequities worldwide. Dear graduates, this uh, takes me to my first recommendation. Have a social and political conscience. You are the millennium generation. This new century offers many new possibilities for bringing change with the rapid advances of science and technology. But we have to make sure those advances benefit all and not only the few. Paraphrasing my dear friend uh, Bruce Alberts, who was the president of the National Academy of Sciences and a distinguished professor here at UCSF, he said, history will judge us not only by the new science we create, but about how that knowledge is applied to improve people's lives. And remember, advancing health worldwide is uh, UCSF tax line, and we all have to contribute. Global health entails policy and politics. Denialism has no place in science, but there are many unfortunate examples. Denial of evolution, denial of HIV, uh, denial of climate change. How can we ignore, for instance, the huge impact of climate change in planetary health. We are all shocked by reading the news in the last uh, few weeks. The whole world is witnessing expressions of racism, xenophobia, and violence. Globally, we need to combat the calls for isolation and nationalism. Brexit is bad news. Domestically, we need to elevate our voices to protest all the recent 
episodes of racist and homophobic violence by lunatics or even police agents against unarmed citizens. And we should not allow a presidential candidate to insult women, veterans, Mexicans, Muslims with impunity. We need to build bridges, not walls. In Global Health, we chose a path to defend the poor and the vulnerable. And we require, therefore, a social and political conscience. Being pacifist does not mean being passive. Remember, we can only change the world by action, not by contemplation. This leads me to a second recommendation. Don't be complacent. Bring a sense of urgency to your work. People are suffering right now with burdens that we can actually solve. As Bono from U2, a brilliant commencement speech said, I know we can fix every problem, but the ones we can, we must. And because we can, we must. Third piece of advice, follow inspirational leaders. Get good mentors so you can yourself eventually become a great leader and mentor. I'm very fortunate to have had several mentors in my life. First at Harvard, and Richard Cash was a major mentor of mine, and uh, later in, in Mexico. We all need mentors. We need role models and model reference. Haile de Bas first brought me here to UCSF in 2007, and then again in 2011. Richard Fietzer, George Rutherford, and Eric Busby are titans in global health. Paul Wolverine and Molly Cook are UCSF legends. In my role, I stand on the shoulders of these giants. You are the next generation of leaders in global health. One day, you will be asked to be here to talk and try to inspire your own students. My advice to you is to develop a lifelong love for learning. Keep learning all you can about your field, but also you have to learn about other fields like literature, music, and especially history, if only not to repeat mistakes. In closing, I would like to leave you with three sentiments. One is, uh, as I said, a sense of urgency. There is no time to waste because right now people are suffering globally and locally. Then a sense of direction. Follow your instinct and intuition as your North Star. As Oscar Wilde said, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. <laughs> a sense of empathy. Put yourself in the shoes of those who suffer every day. Imagine yourself being a refugee in a camp. A sense of optimism, finally. See always the glass half full. As Winston Churchill said, a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Keep in mind, we are making progress. Don't listen to those that think that America is failing. <laughs> you can make a difference. The powerful combination of innovation in science and technology with your passion and commitment for the right causes will bring spectacular changes in your own lifetimes. Again, my congratulations to you in this very special day.